Hey friends, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. It's me trying to crawl back into your lives. Hey, honestly, okay, I know I was off YouTube for a long time, but I have an excuse this time, like a real excuse this time, okay? Honestly, guys, the world was getting pretty dark. I was very uninspired. So much negativity going on, so much negative events, people's losses and stuff like that. And it's just like, it was hard for me to get behind camera and just talk about how amazing a product could be while all this sorrow was going on. I know negative things always go on, but this time it got pretty dark. So I just really felt like I didn't have the right energy and mindset for it. And I feel like it was gonna like, I don't know. But I'm back and with a lot more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking around. My subscribers were still there and I really appreciate that. I just felt like I wasn't in the right headspace and I feel like I myself was falling into a dark hole and I just like wasn't in the right mindset to just get behind camera, act happy as if I was and just talk about products like nothing else is going on. Like I don't know. I've always been, I've always said like stay true to your feelings even though I was, you know, raised different, like always put a smile on, like, just always put a smile and I feel like it's so unfair. I feel like everyone has to validate. I feel like everyone has to validate. Validate. I feel like everyone has to validate their feelings. You have to be true to how you're feeling because when you just hold on to all these emotions, you accumulate accumulate them. Why can't I talk? You can you accumulate them and then like you have a major meltdown or breakdown. And I feel like it's really important for you to feel your emotions, accept them, and then move forward. So I was off YouTube for like what four or five months. But I'm really happy to be back. Honestly, I'm ready. I'm ready for us to grow. It's gonna happen. But I must let you know, this is the fifth time I tried to record this video, you guys. I don't know. For one thing or another, the universe is just not one to align with me <laughs> or for me. And um, apparently my phone's audio is messing up. I already moved all kinds of features and nothing works. So I used to record with my phone. Now, my husband had gotten me a Canon camera for Christmas. He, he got me the Canon M50, I think it is. I'm not sure. But he got me a camera for Christmas because I had told him once that I've always wanted a Canon camera for my channel. And he got me that for Christmas totally unexpected I'm very happy but I, I I was just scared to use it because I don't know how to edit on the computer my husband being such a sweet great man that he is like being the great sweet man that he is he found out that I can edit these videos through my phone which I had no idea because I'm not a technology person the smart one in technology is my husband not me at all like I get very frustrated with technology I cannot be in front of a computer for more than 30 minutes without me getting super frustrated so I didn't know that and then plus the ring light he got me for Valentine's Day or my birthday I think it was Valentine's Day I don't know I feel like I'm so blessed with this man I swear he's such a great man I, I just love him so much and it's thanks to him that I'm able to come back and I'm gonna have better quality and it's just I'm just very happy dinner oh my god the trash truck is gonna come it's gonna make all this noise so just to wrap it up this is the fifth time I'm trying to record this video okay so I really hope you guys love it I really hope you guys enjoy it and stick around till the end I am back with the story time today okay and I'm gonna be talking about the time that I got a ketchup bottle thrown at me and my co-worker got a burger thrown at her so yeah if you guys want to watch a funny story <laughs> funny story time while I get ready just keep watching before I get into the story of how I got a ketchup bottle thrown at me and my coworker got a burger thrown at her, I want to share a, like a little incident that happened, like probably like the second day before the second time I tried to film this video. Because again, I tried to film this video a gazillion times already. Okay. This feels so good, you guys. This is Marilyn Monroe in collaboration with Hard Candy Rose Water slash Toner or whatnot. It's so good. <laughs> I love to put it before my um, Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer because I just feel like it helps me to use less because it's such a thick cream, this one right here, and it helps me use less and um, I feel like it's better absorbed into my skin. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer. I really love this primer. It just helps everything apply flawless. I'm also trying out um, this well I'm not trying out for the first time because again this is the fifth time I try to record this video so in two of the previous tries I used this foundation it's amazing you guys okay I just felt like extra extra lucky because like the brush that I've been seeing people use to apply it like came in my boxy charms so, like I already had the brush so I kind of feel like cool you know uh packaging yes 
work so the reason why i want to bring up this story is because like we went to that place again yesterday and i just feel like they kind of made me feel like i was seen as just crazy pretty much <laughs> and i'll explain to you why so oh, five days ago okay um a night again it, it was a night before i tried to like film this video for the second time um my husband had like this late night craving he wanted some of those new mcdonald's crispy spicy chicken sandwiches right and i got him hooked into those honestly because um i'm the one who got was really into them it was around eight o'clock ish it was like to, uh, to me that's late at night because usually by the time i'm sleeping usually i wake up around i've been waking up at four in the morning lately but usually i wake up like a five ish you know, just start running errands and whatnot. Running my little business and whatnot. <laughs> There's this specific McDonald's we like to go to because usually they're... Okay, I don't know if it's just me or I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like there's always something that McDonald's messes up. McDonald's employees, whether it's, I don't know, I asked you for equal sugar, you gave me regular sugar. I asked you for like no egg and then you just put no egg, no cheese. Like, I don't know. There's this specific McDonald's that we like to go to. Rarely mess anything up. So we like to go there because they pay attention to what they're doing to, you know, what we or so we thought okay I pull up the drive through and i ordered two sandwiches okay just the two sandwiches by themselves i think it's a pretty hard order to fuck up i think in my opinion you know now i'm not trying to be insensitive because i did work in the food industry for five years so i know exactly how it is especially at nighttime like everyone's tired or whatever right but two sandwiches by themselves like that's just really pretty pretty hard to mess up okay so i ordered them you know and bro that was like attending drive through the one at the speaker like i mean you can you know, just her tone of voice and everything. Like, I didn't really, like, take this in note because I'm not the type of person, like... Look, if they mess up my order, like, I'm not the type of person who just goes in there and, and makes a huge deal. I'm not the type of person who, like, is going to try and find something to complain about. Like, you know, there's a lot of places I've gone to where they kind of give me an attitude and stuff like that. But again, like, I'm very understanding because, again, I've worked in the food industry before and I can't express to you enough... How draining and hard it is to work in the food industry honestly it is customer service in the food industry has to be one of the worst jobs honestly very draining very draining yo i just really love this foundation you guys it might look a little lighter than my skin tone but i promise it matches my neck i really want to try this powder this is the locket powder by cat love this translucent i i tend to go in with the translucent powder I like to go in with the translucent powder before I go in with the foundation powder because I just like the way it sets things. By the way, you guys, if you guys see these sponges at the dollar store, snatch them. This is exactly, exactly like the beauty blender, but for a dollar. I promise, like the quality, the feel, everything, the way it performs, it's exactly like the beauty blender, but for a dollar. I never thought I would say such thing, but yes. It is true. Also, if you get to see these, if you find these specifically at the nine nines, oh my god, you guys, my nails. I'm sorry, I cannot keep nail polish for more than a day. Literally, these nails I did them like a day before yesterday. Embarrassing. <laughs> so these, if you find them, get them. They're a little denser, but they do the job perfectly. So, anyways, right? She has like this, like I'm so over my job attitude. Like she's just taking orders because obviously she has to. But you can tell she can't wait to get home, right? Just in her tone of voice, you know. Okay, we get to the first window. Some person charges us. It's not the same person that that took the order. Then we get to the second window, and you know, meanwhile we're waiting for our order. My husband starts looking through the receipt. And he notices that they gave, like, they charge us for the wrong sandwiches. Like, we wanted the spicy, crispy chicken sandwiches, and they charge us for the regular crispy chicken sandwiches. And so it does make a difference, because the taste is different. Like, we wanted the spicy ones, you know, like. So my husband tells me, and I let the guy know, because at the second window, there was this guy, so I let him know. I tell him, like, hey, he actually charges for the wrong sandwiches. We asked for the spicy ones. He goes, oh, okay, we'll work on your order. Go to window two. Now, window two is, like, the third window. Because you know how there's some McDonald's that have the first window where they charge, second window where they give your food, and third window where pretty much send you if they mess up your order. Or if your order is taking a little too long, they send you over there. Okay, no big deal. You know, good thing we caught in time. So my husband, like, you know, good thing, we, good thing you check. I'm like, because by the time we would have gotten home, so we go to window two again. The third window to them is window two. So that's where we went, right? We didn't even have to wait for a minute, you guys. Right away, a girl came out. She gave us her sandwiches. Now, I can pretty much guarantee it was the same girl that took the order because she kind of had like the attitude, like just wanted to get us out of there. She just comes, hands us like the bag of sandwiches. She goes, here you go. And then before I can say thank you, she already had like shut the window, okay? So whatever again brush it off it's late at night people are tired totally get it i've been there done that okay 
And I don't know what made me tell my husband, like, you want to check them? And he's like, nah, you know, like, it'd be too much. It'd be too much if they still mess up our order. And I'm over here like, I don't trust people, you know, like, people make mistakes all the time. But we, we drive home. We get home, he sets up in the room, like, his little table. He sets up his, like, I don't know if it was like he was watching one of his favorite YouTubers or we were going to watch a series. I really don't remember. Again, usually by the time I start, like, getting ready to go to sleep already, you know, I start doing my skincare. So I just kind of watch along a little whatever he's watching and then just fall asleep you know he himself up to have like a really pleasant meal he opens one of the sandwiches and it's the same sandwiches we told them that they had messed up on okay well they never fixed them whatever i don't know what the hell they did but they so they didn't fix them okay like they just grabbed the same sandwiches just gave them to get a sandwich first i don't want my husband to have a pleasant meal like i know how that is when you really want something they give you something else like you don't enjoy it as much because you're like man i really want it so-and-so sandwich you know so i tell him you want to drive back he goes if you don't mind i'm like no i don't mind let's go let's go i want you to enjoy your meal we go back we get on drive through again this time it was a guy i want to think it's the same guy that was in the first window this guy's usually really really nice i like i i've seen him before he's really really nice and he's he apologized he goes i'm sorry about that can you please pull up to window two so we can fix your order no problem pull up to window two when i tell you guys we were waiting there for like five minutes before I started like noticing like okay they're taking long we waited there five minutes and I was like now in my head this is just the type of person I am okay first of all I don't make a huge deal when somebody messes up my order somebody messes up the order no big deal we'll just go back or we'll let them know whatever you know of course well this locket powder is really really good today I'm gonna bake you guys because lately I've been getting really oily I don't know why the hell I've been getting really oily but I'm gonna use the same powder to bake where I usually express a lot of oil funny because i had stopped baking a long time ago because like i felt it like it was a bit drying but it's much needed now is it me or this powder has some kind of like satin glow i don't know so i'm trying to find a logic or rather i'm trying to find an excuse to why we have been left there waiting five minutes without anybody acknowledging us so i thought maybe i came to the wrong window he said window two but maybe by window two he meant the second window where they give you your food but I was like, but then up here it says window two. And then usually that's where they send you when they mess up your order or you're waiting on something. Hmm. So I pick up the phone and I try to call the restaurant. Of course, uh, the phone is like unavailable. Like I keep calling and it sounds like somebody's on the phone. Of course, the phone's not working right now. Of course. So we wait a few more minutes. In total, we probably waited a good eight minutes, you guys. That's almost 10 minutes that we waited. Given the fact that we had to drive back and we're still waiting all that time this cup i am like in love with it i'm gonna leave her information down below customize this one for me this is the my first lip gloss collection that i launched that sold out like in a week and um i just want to have something memorable and this is just like my business logo and i show you a little bit of my lip gloss collection at the end of the video i'm gonna leave all the information down below from the person that makes these cups to my lip gloss collection also makes these customized whatever cups you can use it for what i use it for brushes because like it has glitter in it so you can't use them to drink but this was actually a birthday gift i think from my friend to me and then i'm like oh some customized cups will be great too <laughs> okay so we're waiting right we waited for a good eight minutes in total and i'm like okay that's it at this point i was heated already okay because i'm like okay like there's only so many things you can bypass in the same incident before you start being like what the fuck so i'm just mad at this point and i just go to i just go back to drive through okay now <laughs> this is why it's really important for you not to be an a-hole with people because sometimes like it's always going to come back to you and sometimes it's just instantly, instant karma, you know, it just instantly comes back to you, okay? When I went to the drive through for the third time, like to the drive through speakers for the third time, the person that was helping me was the same girl that helped me the first time and, I, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the same girl that gave me the sandwiches. So you're just horrible with people, like sometimes it's just instant karma because I just went off on her. Okay, I go to the drive through speaker and she helps me. Now, I'm still being polite at this point, okay? I'm trying to, like, keep my cool. I'm trying to, like, you know, I don't want to be pissed off. Like, at the end of the day, I wasn't the one who was going to have dinner. It was, like, going to be my husband. But I still didn't want to go home heated. And, like, I was about to go to sleep. But I don't want to go to sleep like that. Such a bad vibe. Such a bad energy, you know? So I'm still trying to keep my cool, okay? And I'm explaining the situation to her, of course. Like, keeping my cool, but at the same time, I'm being stern, you know? Like, I'm not being rude, but I'm being really stern. I'm letting her know what happened. I'm here, like, you know, and I go, you know, like, we came. 
we came they had messed up our order already and um we had let them know they had sent us to window two and um they still managed to mess up the order we drove back and then they told us to go to window two and nobody came to acknowledge us first like after everything i told her like i feel like what ticked me off the most like she's trying to be like stupid and she's like wait what was it like like my whole rant i just gave her it was like it was like it just went in from one ear to the other like she just totally bypassed it and that's when I just like, that's when I, I just went off on her and I started getting loud, you know? I have to admit, I got pretty nasty and I'm not proud of it. But sometimes you just really gotta act like that because then people are act stupid with you because they just see your demeanor being such a nice, polite person that they can just do that. And it's like, no, I'm polite and nice to the general public until they start acting stupid. If you start acting stupid then you know, you're gonna get the same energy, you know? So I tell her, you know, like nobody came and acknowledged us. And she was like, yeah, we're processing a lot of orders. I'm like, but I drove back already, so you should be processing mine first because I already drove back after telling you guys already that you guys had messed it up. And she goes, oh, it's because we didn't have any of those uh, spicy, crispy chicken breasts. And I'm like, and nobody could have come to the window and acknowledged us and let us know that our order was going to take a little longer. Like, out of courtesy, hello. I'm not going to tell you, like, I was, like, the star employee of the year when I used to work in the food industry. But, like, if somebody's already driving back, coming a little upset because like of whatever we did to their order i'm not gonna leave them waiting and get them more heated common sense that's gonna that's gonna get somebody more heated as it is like such an inconvenience all the way it's like it's not like you have anything bad to do but it's like bitch you don't have you don't have to be wasting your time like that either you know like hello and i was just going off on her like telling her well nobody could have come in and acknowledged us you guys just left us waiting there eight minutes why do why are we waiting there for eight minutes when i had already told you guys you guys messed up the order and if we would have to wait it's totally understandable if if somebody would have come to the window let us know like hey i'm sorry we messed up your order or whatever you know we don't have any of those crispy spices it's gonna take longer because chicken does take pretty long to cook sometimes like especially because these things are frozen okay like these things are not freshly made they're like those things do take a long time to defrost and then you know they probably they probably didn't have any available to just like put in the fryer or pre everything is pre-cooked there you know they, they probably didn't have any pre-cooked ones and you know took them out frozen or whatever i know things take long because again i've worked in the food industry so i know how those things are but would have come and let us know like i would have been like oh gosh you know but i would have been cool with that like it's you you all understand the situation okay when i'm like going off on her like she's being totally stupid about it you know and i'm just i just got to a point where like okay well where are i going to go get my food because I'm, I'm i need to leave girl like you know I'm like where do we go because i'm not going to be here like arguing with you and i'm not going to be like waiting any longer so where do we go and she goes i have your sandwiches ready right here i'm like okay well where do i go she goes i have them right here i'm like okay well where do i go you know like i'm over here like and i'm getting louder and louder where do i go where do i go you know i'm like, just getting louder and louder like oh god just thinking about it it's like she just pissed me off so much you know but the thing is that as she was saying i have your sandwiches here she was walking towards the back now in the back there's an employee entrance and exit i guess pretty much like facing the drive through um speaker so it's like they come out through there and they come straight to you you know so i'm at the drive through and i'm at the drive through speaker and she's coming like as she's saying i have them right here i have them right here like see her stupid like her like see her stupid ass like she just, it's like she's doing this on purpose, you know? She's doing this on purpose because, like, she could have told me, I'm going to come out the back uh, door and I'm just going to hand them to you. And she's, I have them right here. I have them right here. Well, like, if I can see her, okay? She hands me the sandwiches. And it was the first girl that handed them to me the first time. She hands me the sandwiches. And then I'll give her the other ones that I have. And she's like, oh, no, you can keep those. I'm like, oh, bitch. Like, this is this is it. And I just snatched this, the sandwiches off her hand. Like, honestly, just snatched the sandwiches off her hand. And I just felt so ugly, you guys. Because, like, they just, they just pushed me to that limit. Like, I got so ugly. I guess I'm just extra pissed off because, like, I'm totally understanding about situations. And then for people to take advantage like that and be all stupid like that, like, I don't know. And I was just apologizing to my husband because, like, I hate it when he has to see me ugly like that. Like, you know, he's like, no, I'm sorry you had to go through that. You know, they got you all heated for no reason. I'm like, no, it's cool, you know. So I was the one driving, so it's like I'm the one who just, you know. <laughs> I look all kinds of crazy right now, you guys. <laughs> okay, guys, these eyeshadows from LA Colors, girl. Like, Ali Colors, girl. These eyeshadows from LA Colors, you guys. Come on, focus. Focus that shit. I think I broke this one, like, the second time I was trying to film this video, okay? Like, bummer. But um, these eyeshadows, you guys, they're so good. Why am I showing them to you like that? Hold on. Obviously, the plastic is the one that's giving the glare, Maria. Hello. But look at the, look at these eyeshadows. You guys, when I tell you these are like 
you saw they're highly pigmented for a dollar you guys <laughs> i usually go into like the dollar store to go in on, like toiletries like you know toilet paper and cleaning supplies and then my doggy's diapers because i find my doggy's diapers really like a, a pack of 34 like four bucks so i usually go there for like their little training pads and um i always have to go to the beauty section i always come out with all kinds of glosses and stuff like that and i saw those and i'm like oh my god and they, they're so good you guys like the quality i promise they're, they're like matte quality slash morphe quality like they're so freaking good and i see la color stepping up their game and that's so cool very inspirational I like their powder too because i got one of their powders and then you can tell like you know the company is growing when like the little like they become labels instead of like a little round see-through plastic sticker that just says the word nude one of these from like the first time i ever bought one of these and it's like it literally just like a little see-through round sticker with like the color like the color name and that's it it's like you know they're growing when like they got all kinds of uh, labeling going on so i love la colors personally probably one of the first brands i ever used when i was a teenager besides italia and starry <laughs> we all know those brands brands you can find them all kinds of dollar stores i got a little crazy with the eyeshadow but it's cool okay it's how intense the story was. This is how tense I was in the story. But anyways, one perk about having to film this for the fifth time is that yesterday night we had gone there and have a little update for you guys. Because honestly, I felt like I was like being treated like not bad at all, but it's like, I don't know, like they just want to get me out of there. <laughs> so um, when we got to the drive-thru, I could have sworn it was the same girl. The one at the window was uh, the same guy, the same really nice guy. And I just have a feeling like it was her, the one that was like supposed to be in the window. Usually the one, the speaker is the one charging. No, I feel like she might have recognized me. I've been told that like my voice has like this specific ring to it. That it's like, it's pretty like unique. Like it's not like, like you hear my voice and you know it's me. So <laughs> many people have told me that. I remember in my old job, like one of the co my coworkers, like she said she could hear me from far away. She's like, is that Maria? You know, like she could hear me. So I feel like she might have recognized my voice. Uh, she might have told the guy like, "Hey, it's a crazy lady. You know, can you can you can you like charge her or whatever?" <laughs> it's like, "No, bitch, you made me crazy." You know. But anyways, oh, he's always so nice, always so sweet. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, you know. Oh man, they push your limits and they 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 make you seem like you're crazy. And it's like, no, they push your limits, you know. I get to the first window to get charged, and then, and then I go to the second window, um, where they give you your food, and there's other. <laughs> There's this other guy, not the girl at all. There's this other guy, and he's like being super, super polite. He's like, he goes hi, and I'm like hi. He goes here you go, and I'm like thank you, and then like he gives me my soda and then he gives me my food, right? He goes here you go, ma'am. I'm like thank you. And I'm like can I just have extra ketchup, please, because my husband and I have like little getaways late at night sometimes. Like sometimes I, it's usually. Well, it's both of us. You should, it's, it's, we're so bad. Like we both like encourage each other. Hey, you want to go? You know, we both encourage each other and stuff. <laughs> so bad we're such a bad influence with each other but whatever you only live once honestly if there's something the pandemic has taught me is spend as much time as you can with your loved ones and everything you want to do just do it with them because you just never know okay i'm not gonna start getting into that because then it's gonna get dark and um it's one of the reasons why i stopped youtube for a while the world was dark so i'm like can i just have extra ketchup because we're gonna park and we like to do this we're gonna go get food and then we go park in the parking lot and we're just like in dark in the parking lot we just eat and chill and just talk and have like our little own time my husband like needs ketchup he's one of those that he can't have fries without ketchup like i don't care but he does like it's like it's crucial for him to have ketchup so i just asked the guy can i have extra ketchup and he's like sure sure and then he gets like a little bunch like more than more than a medium sized fries could possibly ever need, but whatever. And I just drove off and I'm like, I kind of feel like a psychopath. <laughs> kind of feel like they were just like, hey, here you go, just get me out of there. Before I go off on them or something, I don't know. It kind of made me feel crazy. Like, I'm not like that, I promise. I do feel bad, but then I don't because, like, I know I'm the type of person that, like, if they mess up my order, I would just buy another sandwich. Like, it's okay, I'll just keep this one for later. Just give me another one. Like, I'm that person. You know, I'm not the person who goes back and, like, hey, you fix this. Knowing them right, that now they're going to have to throw that sandwich away because I touched it already. So, I'll be like, it's okay, just give me another one. Even at Starbucks, like, they mess up my, my order or whatever. Like, it's okay, just give me another one. Like, I'll just give this one away or I'll just save it for later. I'll drink it later or something. Like, if they mess something up, I'm the type of person that just buys another one. I don't care about you fixing this one. I'll just buy another one. And usually at Starbucks, like, they're pretty cool with it. Like, I don't like to be that person that just has to make your job harder, you know? But some people take advantage and that's not right. Okay. So I had bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in chocolate and Auburn. My plan, because in my mind, I remember when I used to work in retail that 
Auburn had an orangey hue and then this chocolate one had like a, a reddish browny hue. So I thought in my head it would work out. I thought mixing these together would give me like the perfect gingerish auburnish look, okay? For some reason, this one just looks chocolate looks like a dark brown on me and then auburn just looks like a gray. I had used these on camera twice again trying to film this video. I have used these on camera twice. First I mixed actually three times. First I mix the two like a thought, then I work out, then I just use Auburn, then I just chocolate, then I work out. So, what was I filling my brows in with before this? I was filling them in with this uh, mascara, okay? When I tell you this mascara matches my brows perfectly. Now, my hair is not as bright right now because ugh, I made the mistake of trying out this like ha instant henna hair dry, hair dye, dry, hair dye, okay? Now, this is a henna. And it's supposed to like make your color vibrant, okay? Now my hair was already like vibrant, but I wanted more vibrancy. You know, I wanted more like that red, like that orangey, vibrant reddish effect. Now for some reason, it just made it more like a brown with ginger. Like right here with the lighting, it kind of looks bright, but it's not this bright. It's like a gingery brown, which is nice, but it's not what I wanted. But it's nice. But anyways, this mis this color has been matching my brows amazingly. Like, I can't find this color in a brow. Um, now, I know it looks crazy. Trust me, it doesn't look like this once on. But I've been trying to find something similar to this. And so I thought that mixing those two would work out. And now I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those. And I don't want to go return them, honestly. <laughs> I did a whole Sephora haul, splurge or whatever. And I don't want to return anything, honestly. <laughs> Just going to have to live with that, okay? Now... The time that I got a ketchup bottle thrown at me. Once upon a time. <laughs> so at the time, this is the time where I used to work at um, this little burger stand, right? I worked at that job for five years. Yeah, I was at the end of my shift already. It it was a Monday. I know it was a Monday for the fact that Mondays was the only day I would come in early and then leave like around three something, four, three, four, four. Or was it five? Nah. Maybe. Maybe because I, I, I was crazy. I worked a lot. No, I think this specific day I would leave at 3 o'clock. Yeah, I would leave at 3 o'clock on Mondays. I remember now. I don't know why I keep looking here. Like, so I have like, like, I have a little monitor now that like, I can see myself now. I keep looking over there. So it's like, but it's right here. Maria, focus. Okay. So, I would come in like at 6.30 and leave at 3. And so, it was too, it was too something-ish, okay? Now, I remember I was trying to hurry up because I was by myself and I wanted to leave everything set up for the next shift to just start smoothly. So, you know, whether it was filling, cleaning up, wiping some tables, whatever. At this moment, I was trying to finish up the ketchup bottles. Now, what we would do with the ketchup bottles is we would, whatever half seats were left from like the day, we would like put one into the other, fill each other out until like we got empty, dirty bottles. Then we'll take this to the back and wash those, leave them drying and then fill them up with brand new ketchup. The reason why we did this was to rotate the ketchup because well, nobody wants to eat old ketchup with new ketchup mixed in, okay? Now, if you guys ever go to a restaurant and then you squeeze ketchup up from one of those, like, plastic bottles and it comes out, like, lumpy and, like, with all kinds of, like, little lumps, that's because they mix old ketchup with new ketchup. So, just get ketchup packages. Honestly, I never use those stupid little bottles because I don't know what people can do to them because you just give them out to people and you just... People are crazy, okay? People are freaking psychopaths out there. My husband and I like to ask for ketchup bottles. But ketchup packages. So I was doing that, I was trying to hurry up or whatever, okay? Now, keep this one incident in mind that I'm about to tell you, okay? A few months prior to that. Hey guys, that Kat Von D powder really leaves this pretty glow to the skin. But I'm going in with my LA Color Foundation powder, so whatever. A few months prior to that day that I'm talking about. We received a call from a very, very upset customer. Apparently, they had put onions in her burger when she had clearly told whoever helped her that she didn't want any onions in her burger. The fact that she was upset is totally understandable because um, if you're telling someone not to put something, it's upsetting, you know, it's like you're telling them for a reason. Whether they're allergic to it or they just don't like it or can't stand the flavor, like that's what we're there for, that's what we're getting paid for to do things right, right? Okay. Whatever put her order, like just messed it all up, okay? And whatever made it, messed it up too. So I didn't take care of this customer, so like I had nothing to do with it. But I do remember, my coworker being a little upset because this customer just totally went off on her. Now, back to the ketchup incident day, okay? So I was rushing through those ketchup bottles, just doing it fast or whatever, okay? And I noticed there's this lady sitting with like her little, what seems to be five-year-old daughter. 
and I really didn't um, pay attention to them because again I'm doing my own thing and I don't know if that lady had been helped already she has been sitting there or I don't know if she's about to order because my other co-worker had just left like at 2 o'clock actually I was by myself for half an hour sometimes up to an hour never more than an hour because like it, it tends to get pretty busy there so I believe the next person would come in at 2 30 and then the next person will come in at three so there would be two people left um up to three sometimes so i remember i was waiting for somebody to come in meanwhile i was trying to like hurry as much as i could so i can like finish up and i noticed this lady right again i don't know if at this point she already been helped or i don't know because i'm just doing my thing and then whatever comes up to the register i help them out okay so i'm doing my thing and then i notice that this lady is approaching me now i noticed this by like you know the side of my eye you know how you can kind of see like on the side sometimes like somebody approaching so i see this lady approaching and i'm still doing my thing and then i see her standing right next to me now where i'm standing it's behind the registers inside the counter and then the table the first table is only about five feet away maybe and so next thing i know she's standing right next to me now between me and her are these little doors now, i'm gonna use this as an example but they're like these little doors right and so it's one of those doors that are like this and then you go out of them and they just like open right okay so there's those little doors in between her and me and i greet her I politely ask her if there's something i can help her with now this lady with an attitude tells me i'm gonna need you to wipe down that table and i was like keeping my cool because i'm getting paid to be nice and some people forget that some people forget that people are being paid to be nice and at the end of the day behind those registers it's real people so i don't know what their mentality is towards that but it's real people which means actions could have reactions never forget that never forget that because some people will react and some people are crazy not everyone is self-composed and keeps their cool like me and many other people some people do react and we've seen it i think we've all seen it so and so I look over to the table and then to her. And you guys, at this table, there's all kinds of lettuce. Like shredded lettuce everywhere and ketchup smeared and whatever. So automatically I thought she wants to sit there. You know, her little, again, her little girl sitting with her already. So it's like she wants to sit there. You want the table wiped down? I will. When I ask her, oh, sure, did you want to sit there? She's like, no, I'm finished. And I'm just like, okay, so what is the rush? You know, like. In my head, I'm like, what's your deal? You know, like, you're finished. Just hang out or whatever. So literally, my instant reaction was just like, okay. Like, I'm just trying to, like, keep it together, you know? Just keep it together. <laughs> and then she goes, here, clean this. It's dirty. Now, what she was talking about was the ketchup bottle. It was an empty ketchup bottle, all smeared around with ketchup. Totally out of ketchup, right? Let's pretend this is the ketchup bottle, okay? Pretend this is the ketchup bottle. She goes... And here, clean this, because it's dirty. When she does that, like here, clean this is dirty, she drops it. It's like this motion like that, right? When she does that, it hits my hand, okay? It hits my hand. Not my hand, my arm, okay? Because I'm doing this, right, with ketchup bottles, and when she does that, it hits my hand. I don't know what the fuck was that, you guys, but automatically i'm just heated and i'm like i don't know who the hell you think you are to be talking to me like that but you're not gonna come here and talk to me like that and then she goes i don't know who you think you are but she says something along the lines like she's making my paycheck pretty much I started telling her something like no ma'am you're not making my paycheck okay you're buying a five dollar burger and the service is up to me and i'm like you're little entitled ass for a five dollar burger and no ma'am like, i'm like i don't know what your problem is but you're not gonna come and disrespect me like that just because i'm behind the register doesn't mean you can disrespect me she goes i'll tell you what my problem is my problem is that you put onions in my burger when i told you not to put onions in but now in this moment it didn't click remember the customer i told you that that called like a few months prior in this moment it didn't click on my head okay automatically i thought they fucked up on her order okay but it's like she still ate it and so i'm confused and i'm like i didn't take your order because again this is the first time i'm seeing this lady ever she goes no the other day it was you the one that put onions in my burger and my smart ass at the time just heated because this girl's just saying nonsense in my head my smart ass i was like well do i look like a cook to you or do i look like the cashier like <laughs> like a total smart ass she starts going off on me and telling me that i always do this I always mess up her order. She always tells me not to put onions on her burger and that I always put onions on her burger. Now, keep in mind, you guys, this is the first time I ever interact with this lady. 
Never in my life have I ever seen this lady ever and she was a regular. I never ever noticed her existence. You guys, my brows are not cooperating with me today. What time for this day? She keeps going off on me about this one incident that I have no idea about. I don't know what she's talking about, right? And I did it to a point where I'm like, ma'am, if you have a problem the way your food is handled here, just talk to my boss. You know, like, don't give me a hard time. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Anyways, you got to complain. Go talk to my boss. Like, I ain't the one. She goes, yes, I want to talk to him. Like, you want to talk to my boss? She goes, yeah. I'm like, okay. And I'm heated, you guys. But I'm like, I'm like trying to keep my cool, okay? Now, before this, though, I just felt a hand grab my hand. Okay, like my arm, my wrist, actually. Like, I just felt a warm hand grab my wrist, okay? At this point, um, I was working with, like, one of the main cooks there. His name, which we'll name him Braulio, okay? Braulio was part of the afternoon shift, and he had arrived by this time. He arrived around 1 or 2-ish. I just feel a warm hand grabbing me, and that was him. He started pulling me back. Even though this was a long time ago, I can tell you this. I remember exactly how I felt, and never in my mind did it cross for any physical damage to be done to this lady, okay? It didn't even cross my mind. Even though she had hit me with a ketchup bottle, it never crossed my mind like, oh, I'm gonna beat her ass, nothing. I'm just not the type of person that believes in fixing things with violence. So I grabbed the phone and I called my boss. Because my boss was still there, he was in his office. He was wrapping up too, to leave. And I called him and I let him know, I'm like, sir, this lady over here, just all crazy, going off on me. She's saying all kinds of things, she says she wants to talk to you. <laughs> he just comes, he goes, okay, Maria, I'll be there. And first of all, my boss, he was, he was one fine man, okay? And I'm not talking about fine, like, as in, oh, he's like, no. I'm not talking about, like, physically fine, no. I'm talking about, he was well-mannered, very well-spoken, very polite, but stern. He knew how to handle situations like these. He knew how to talk to people. He just, he was a great boss. He was one of the coolest and one most, like, most nicest, inspirational people I have ever come across in my life. But... But if you tried to get smart or stupid with this man, oh, if he ever caught you lying to him or something, it was over for you. I'm not talking about it was over as if he would fire you, but like, he, you were just done. Like, he didn't want to have anything to do with you. From that point on, you were just one more employee and that's it. And when I tell you you want to be on his good side, you want to be on his good side. He got me out of so many situations at one point. At that time, mind you, I was only 20 years old. So I was on my own with my mom because I was taking care of my mom since I was practically 17 years old came in to work there when i was 18 and well i was by myself taking care of my mom so i went through a lot of hard times and he was just so awesome i always told him that i wish that my dad was like at least one fourth of a man of what he was honestly his children were beautiful one of them was about um one year older than me and then the other one was about two years younger than me and then he had twins and there was a girl and a boy and they were twins and they were so beautiful so like all of them were so handsome and the girl was so beautiful like her star was so beautiful too he was greek so you know greeks greeks are beautiful like they're <laughs> they're these like tall people with amazing perfect features and his wife had like these hazel honey eyes his twins came out with like hazel honey eyes they're just beautiful you guys just beautiful all the way he just had everything to admire and he knew how to handle people properly and so he comes all calm okay we'll be here all heated and stuff he comes calmly to handle the situation now at this point i'm going to the back side because i'm going to start washing the ketchup bottles right and but at the same time i'm peeking i want to see what this crazy lady says to him but i can't hear anything so i go to the back and i'm peeking now and when i'm peeking now all i see is these motions going crazy okay my boss at that time he was just like my boss going like and then just goes back to his office and i'm over here like what just happened you know am i getting fired like just storm back to the office i'm like what did you say about me what happened blah, blah 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 you know this and that and then he goes she's crazy i'm like what like okay for this man to say a customer was crazy was because a customer was crazy okay he was never the type to be saying those kind of things in front of like an employee. I was like, yes she is, because she hit me with a ketchup bottle, blah, blah, blah. He goes, she hit you with the ketchup? I'm like, yes she did. I'm like, she hit me with a ketchup bottle, and on top of that, she has all kinds of complaints, just going off on me all crazy. Like, I don't know, I, like, I don't know what's her problem. Goes, She's crazy, he goes, just, uh, just discard her pretty much. So I go back to the front, right? By this point, she had already left. Of course, her messy ass table is there, but she had already left. And then she started talking to Braulio, right? It was just me and Braulio. Again, we were waiting for like the next, for like the rest of the shift to uh, come in. I was just waiting for them to come in so I can leave. And so I start talking to Braulio and I tell him, can you believe this crazy ass lady? Like, what is, what was her problem? What was her issue? And then Braulio just starts dropping all kinds of tea on this lady. Apparently she's known there already. And then he starts telling me, she's not all there in her head. I'm like, well, that's, 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 
that's a shame she's carrying a five-year-old to her like i can only imagine the hell she brings to that little five-year-old you know and i wasn't wrong i'm gonna tell you a little incident right now where you're gonna see i was not wrong about that but like you know just venting to she hit me with a ketchup bottle she threw a ketchup bottle at me how dare her blah 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 should have beat her ass you know this <laughs> ow no but it didn't even cross my mind honestly he goes yeah about that he goes like she's crazy like i'm not trying to like you know make things better like she didn't directly throw the ketchup bottle at you when she dropped it because the the counter was like all steel so apparently when she dropped it the ketchup bottle bounced off the steel and it hit my hand but i didn't see it like that because i'm looking at her dead in the eye right so like all i felt is the ketchup bottle hitting my arm so i didn't see how it happened i just know it happened okay that ketchup bottle touched my arm okay he goes yeah he goes i thought you were heated for that he goes so that's why i was like behind you because I just thought you were just about to. I thought I was gonna go out because he said I was walking. Remember those little doors I told you? He said he saw me walking towards those little doors and starting to open them. I don't remember this. I remember staying behind those damn doors the whole time. I don't remember ever walking towards her or anything like that. If anything, like I didn't move. Like she was right there and I didn't move. He said that he thought I was gonna like just jump on her and just start beating the shit at her. Come on, Braulio. Like I know. I've always been aggressive. I remember punching a guy there once before. It was a, it was an employee. I remember punching a guy there before, and then threatening a few others. But like from, <laughs> but like from there to like actually jumping at a customer. Like I don't know. I just don't ever picture myself doing that. I think Bradley was exaggerating. <laughs> but, T. I'm gonna go in with this gingerbread man bronzer. Oh, I love this bronzer, you guys. It smells like gingerbread man. Okay. Oh, and let me share something with you guys. My crazy ass, okay. This is a, like, limited edition gingerbread uh, scented body glow, okay. So this one comes with, like, its little puff and whatnot. So you're supposed to get the little body glow and whatnot. And just, like, puff, 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 pat, pat, right? Okay. I don't do that, though, okay. I don't tan. I just live with my discolored ass. I don't care, okay. I don't tan. So, but I have to find a use for this, right, because, like, it smells really good. And, like, I'm not going to let it, like, go to waste, right? <sighs> can't open it so i turned this whole ass tub into a blush y'all you heard right into a blush okay it's so full that i can't properly close this okay see that oh i love that. i love the design Too Faced cosmetics Ger gerard i think his name I, I hope i'm pronouncing his name right gerard 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 it's probably some cool thing like Gerard or something like that. But packaging is always amazing. It's so creative. I'm so sorry for messing up with your formula, Gerard. I know you're not ever going to watch this video, but I still want to say sorry for messing up with his formula. But I just turned it into a blush. I just, uh, yeah, I don't drop any. It's just like, it looks pink, but it's not pink. It's like this perfect peachy with brown undertones. I don't know why it looks so pink on camera, but it's not. It has like a, like a mauve brown tone to it. And I just like, it's on me. I created that all myself blush for life now i don't use that big ass jar because like it's hard to open sometimes so like i just put some in one of these like little mineral this is like one of the first blush i had ever bought for myself it's from avon Ugh. this is when i used to be at that burger stand honestly like this lady would come with her little catalog or whatever and i was getting into makeup and i would buy so much stuff from her and like this is like one of like i just kept the little container i just been like refilling it with like my homemade blush <laughs> that's what we are gonna be using today it's just the perfect shade for me, okay? Don't ask me what I mixed in there because I have no idea. I don't remember what pigments and what colors. I just remember it was like browns and peaches. So, All right, so T. I come to find out that apparently this lady is like after one of the other cooks that we had there. Now this cook, we'll name him Omar. And he is a pretty cool, he's a pretty good looking guy, okay? Like he was about, that was 20 at the time. He was about 35. It was about 10 years ago, so no my ass of <laughs> 10 years ago this was eight years ago but when i found that out every time i would see that lady like ever since and i was because for some reason she had to go to the soda machine a lot and now i see why it was hard to see omar but i would cap on him be like oh there you go you know there it's all you it's all you you just like heck no like she's crazy or whatever second incident i had with this lady okay this one time it was really busy i remember it was like a sunday night because sunday nights we would get so packed in the afternoons like, I'm talking about the whole patio, all the tables were just full of people. Now, this lady was waiting on her order. Apparently, she had been given a cup already. And I know this because 
a, when I see her walking back, she's holding a cup and she has like her little five-year-old, right? I'm heading out because usually I would have this routine where every five minutes I would tend to go out just to ask if everything was okay, you know, wipe down the tables, like any tables that people had just left. So the next group of people that come in, they could just sit down, you know, I don't have to go over. I could focus on getting the orders out in time and stuff like that. I was just on it. I had a routine. I was just on it. So I see that same lady. I'm just trying to ignore her because I'm like, oh, you know, she's crazy. By the way, she had promised she would never come back. Of course, she came back all the time, all the time. She was there all the time. So I see her walking back, right? And I'm like, ugh. And I overhear her saying to her little girl, okay, I'm gonna get fruit punch instead of Sprite. She's like, you don't have to be a And I was like, what the hell calls our five-year-old the B word? Honestly. Like, who in their right mind calls a five-year-old the B word? Like, call a grown-ass woman like you the B word and see the reaction, see what happens. Like. I can't stand those kind of people. Like they know that they're not gonna get a reaction or her little five-year-old because she's a little five-year-old, that's her daughter, she has to listen to her. She can be treating her like, I don't know. Like I just, she just rubbed me off the, like, okay, I understand you're not all there in your head, but that just crossed in the line for me. I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not even gonna get into that, but I was just like, uh, that was just nasty. Like, I don't know, whatever. I go in and I snitch on her. <laughs> I tell Braulio, I'm like, Braulio, you will not believe what I just heard this lady say, you know? I was like. And I told him, he goes, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, like, what the hell, what the hell? She goes, he's like, I told you, she's not out there. Like, she's, she's crazy. He was telling me, it's my loca, you know, she was crazy. And I was just like, whatever, you know, like, stupid lady, you know. I see her walking back to the soda machine because, again, she has to go to the soda machine all the time when uh, Omar is there. But when she's walking back to the soda machine, she dumps her soda. Now, where she dumps her soda, we had two trash cans, those soda machine, and then we have a car, like, two or three trays where we put the dirty dishes so people usually either they leave their dish their their plates on the table or they put them in the trash can whether they clean out the food or not we would go get those plates clean them out and then put them on the cart and those are dishes that are ready to go back to the, the washing dish guy whatever that's back there so she comes she just dumps the soda on the dish tray now mind you this is just a dish tray okay the soda is not gonna go anywhere it's not like the trash can it's not like the soda machine where it has somewhere where it just drains off no okay which means that whatever plates I go, I put in there and whatever plates were there already, we're just going to be swimming in the soda, okay? There was no need for that because on her way, she could have just easily dumped it on the same soda machine and grabbed whatever else she wanted to get. But no, she had to dump it somewhere else, of course, because where the fuck is the logic, right? So she dumps it and I'm just like, she pisses me off as it is already because she called her little girl the B word. Okay. So I went to just double check just to make sure I saw what I saw. And as she's walking back from the soda machine, I told her right away, I'm like, next time, I was stern, but I wasn't rude. I wasn't polite either. I was just stern. I was like, next time, if you want to dump your soda to get a fresh one, can you please do it in the soda machine? Because this is a dish tray. First, she was like, oh, okay. Like I caught her off guard. Just look at her and I was like, yeah. And I just start walking away and she's like, okay, like like when I'm walking away, she's like, okay, you don't have to have an attitude, this and that. Like she starts saying all kinds of shit. Of course, when I'm walking away already, when I'm giving her my back, why don't you call me the B word? Like, why don't you call me the B word right there so I can embarrass your ass in front of everyone, you know? But of course not. Lady can be crazy all she wants, but she knew exactly what she's doing. Like she's not stupid. She could be all not all there, but she's not stupid either, okay? After that, I'm like, I don't want to have anything to do with her. I didn't want to serve her. I'm like, I'm just going to send someone else to give her her food because I'm not going to do this. Like, no. Chances are she's going to piss me off again and then I'm going to have to tell her off right now. We had to deal with her a couple of more times, but I tended not to help her because, like, I just knew my temper. And my I thought my temper at the time, you guys, it was uncontrollable. Like, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of control of my temper. Like, now as a grown-ass woman, like, I've learned, like, to be self-composed, you know? Until they really, 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 really push my limits. But for the most part, I'm pretty self-composed and pretty understanding. And I haven't mastered it, but I've been doing a pretty good job at it. I'm surprised I never got into fights. I got pretty bad. One time I... Whoa, one time? Oh my god. It's going to be another story time, but one time... I almost went down with one of the co-workers there. When I tell you, it almost went down. It almost went down. And it's going to be precisely one of my co the co-worker that I'm about to use in... The whole um, burger situation that I'm about to tell you guys. Okay, now, the time that my coworker got a burger thrown at her. This one day, like I said, I usually t I tended to work in the afternoon shifts. Okay, like that was my shift. Usually, only Mondays was the day. Work in the morning, and then Wednesday was my day off, and the rest of the days were just afternoon shifts. Okay, now, 
now. This specific day, it was my turn to be on drive through because we would rotate. Now, this has to have been like a Friday because it was three of us in the afternoon. Usually, they would leave three of us Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because, again, I would get really busy. Now, this was a Friday, okay? I want to say it was a Friday, maybe a Saturday. I will shoot more for Friday. It was my turn to be on drive through Now, I was working with Rosa, which is going to be part of the next story time. We'll call her Rosa. That's not her name, obviously. But I was working with Rosa, and I was working with my co-worker slash friend. We'll name her Dahlia. Now, a little sum sum about Dahlia. Dahlia was one of those people that just had to be involved in everything. Whether it was a conversation, an incident, a situation. For some reason, she felt like she had to get involved and everything i'm gonna be wearing these ioni lashes that everyone's going crazy about but i got a couple of things to tell you about them people are going bananas over right now but i want to show you a little some some okay back to dahlia she just had to involve herself in situations that were none of her business but she just had to involve herself in situations okay now this particular day again i was in drive through right and i remember dahlia was munching on something. Usually when I died down, we would go to the back side. It, it was kind of between the back side and still between the the, uh, the counter of the registers. It kind of like let us like munch and then keep an eye if it gets busy, you know? Usually when I died down, like that's when we would take advantage. Like, oh, I'm gonna get some fries or a drink of Coke or whatever, you know, like just to keep us going, you know? She was munching on something. I remember she was like eating something. And this customer comes up to Rosa and she starts complaining about something. Something went wrong with her burger. Now Rosa. Something about Rosa. Rosa was one of those people who was really good at handling customers. She could be rude at times. But for the most part, she tried to be fair. If she could help the customer out, she would help the customer out. Like if there's something she could do for them, she would do it. But if the customer pissed her off and she didn't want to do it for them, she wouldn't. Like let's say something that you could do, but like you pretty much bullshit them out and tell them we can't do that, you know, or whatever. But Rosa had the tendency of pissing people off sometimes, okay? And she was one of those employees who had already been working there a thousand years of their life. So they acted kind of like the manager. So when it came down to situations with customers, she would step in and we would let her handle it. Because again, she had like that, oh, like, yes, can I help you? Oh, I'm the manager kind of thing. Like, she wasn't, okay? So we let her handle it, you know? So I said to you, yeah, girl, you do handle them. Handle them, you know? You do your little wannabe manager shit, handle them, you know? But when she tried to tell us what to do, we'll be like, you're not the manager. You don't have a manager badge kind of thing. It was just one of those situations for her, okay? So Rosa's getting into their argument with the customer. We can tell the customer's getting heated and heated because the customer starts to get louder. And when they're getting loud, is because they're getting heated. Well, Dahlia being Dahlia. Oh, crap, I didn't put mascara. You guys, this mascara, I have mixed feelings about this mascara, okay? I really like the fact that it's one of those mascaras that you can apply and you you could just pull off just one coat if you're on the go. Like, it'll give you a little something in your eyes. And then two coats, it's like, oh, it's hard to give you drama. But I actually rubbed my eyes and um, some mascara got in my eyes. And like, I have mixed feelings about it because, like, I don't know. It's like, I can't do anything because it burns my eyes. But I really, really like the mascara. I really, really like it. It was probably my fault though, because like, you know when you're not wearing makeup and like there's like all kinds of oils in your face and then you rub your eyes? It didn't do that while I was wearing makeup, not that I remember. So it was probably my fault. I'm expecting to rub my eyes with mascara and nothing to happen. Like why, Maria? It's mascara, girl. Relax. I love this mascara, honestly. There's only one mascara that I've seen like do this, where like one coat is good, and that's the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk. But this? A must. And it was on sale. I think I got it for like 20 bucks. I think it was on sale. That's why I did a huge for a haul. Because there was so much stuff on sale. I'm like, okay, I'll take it all. Okay, so Dahlia being Dahlia. She was one of those people that like, she saw commotion going on. Instead of walking away, putting herself in a safe place, she would walk towards danger. Okay, she's one of those. She's one of those. Why would you do that? I don't know. She's just one of those. The customer gets starts getting louder and louder. And it's clear that they're really in the middle of a huge argument. I'm noticing everything, but I'm staying in my place. Why? Because I'm staying out of it. Because like I'm at the drive through window and I'm watching and I'm just hearing this lady getting loud. Oh, I can't hear what she's saying, but I hear that she's getting louder and more mad. And I don't know, I can't hear what Rosa's telling her, but she's explaining something like, kind of like, we're not going to do this because blah, 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 you know? This is what I want to talk about. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see how like more separated? 
Can you see that? It's more separated and I like more individually. That's the one thing that you do run a risk when you buy like dollar store lashes. I honestly got it out of Miracle because like I was on checkout already and I just like, hey, I was, like, do you have any more of those Ioni lashes that people are going crazy about? Oh, she goes, I have this one and it was a go back. Now I see why it was a go back. But she's like, you know, they didn't want it at the end and then it's just like, it was going to be a go back if you want it. I'm like, yeah, so I took it. Honestly, I'm not gonna go to like every goddamn dollar store to like try to find these because I'm just, I'm not following the hype, okay? Like if I can get my hands on it, okay? If not, I'm not gonna go like bananas over it. Overall, the quality is really good. I can see these lashes, but I am gonna say this, um, they're not any different from like small businesses that I would buy from. Of course, like small businesses I'm not gonna, are not gonna have like their lashes for a dollar, obviously, but like if the price point is making you go crazy trying to buy them honestly like you can go on amazon and you could probably get i found like this one that was like 30 pairs for like 26 bucks and it came with a cute pink case and everything so if that's your hype you probably get a stack of 10 for like six bucks on ebay amazon or something and it's full mink too if not support your small businesses i do all the time i have like so many lashes from them and it's like i just bought these just to try them out because i want to see what was why people were going so crazy and clearly my first experience is not the best but oh you see that my eyebrow color my battery totally died and i don't even know like exactly where i left off but i'm just gonna try to keep going delia was one of those that had to gravitate towards situations instead of just standing by walking away like maybe assisting if it gets crazy but like otherwise just standing by the lady is getting more heated and getting louder the next thing i see is delia walking towards rosa and the lady now Rosa's behind the registers, the lady's on the other side of the registers, okay? So, it's not like they can have physical contact, but I love this shade, you guys. I love this blush. Honestly, this blush is something that's what I use every day. Oh, by the way, you see how, like, the, um, the brow mascara matches my brows perfectly? I love it. Love it. I have not found anything that matches them that good. And unlike the Anastasia pomade, it doesn't rub off at all because it dries like mascara, so it's perfect. Delia's gravitating towards danger pretty much. She just one of those. And I just see her and I'm like, oh here we go. I just know. I just I just knew. Like bitch, I know better. <laughs> and I'm still keeping my distance. I'm my drive through and I'm like, you know, helping my customers. At the same time, I'm paying attention to what's going on, you know, like I gotta know what's going on. I mean, we're already here. I gotta know the cheese man, you know? Like it's to a point where like the lady's so loud, like they get so loud where if we just all stop what we're doing, we're just staring at them, right? We really don't know what the hell happened. I don't know why the lady was so pissed off. But next thing I know, the lady like they're arguing in Spanish and then like the lady just says, Oh yeah, well here's your stupid burger and she just like throws the burger, right? At this point, Delia is standing next to Rosa. This lady just the burger in her hand that she has, she just dead ass throws it and it hits Delia. Now <laughs> Of course, I had to go to like, I had to leave and had to go to the back to like laugh because it was so hilarious in the moment. But all I see is just like the burger, it just slams on her chest, like on her um, right side of the chest, it just slams and it just goes like it just starts sliding down with all kinds of sauces and everything. And I just think it's so funny because precisely like the uniform had like the burger logo. And then with like the name of the restaurant. So I just think it's so funny. Burger precisely hit the burger logo and it just like slid all around. So you got all kinds of sauces and lettuce going over there. And I have to laugh, of course. I have to laugh. So I go to the back to laugh because like, wow. <laughs> I don't want to be part of this. So I just go back and laugh. And then I go back and a few seconds later, Delia comes back. You guys, this Alley Colors highlighter. Super good high quality. Look at it. It's so gleamy that it just shines out white. But look at it. I hope you guys can appreciate like the highlight. Testing out this camera. See how good it appreciates the quality of a highlighter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can appreciate that. Delia walks pretty much right behind me. And I'm laughing. Okay. I'm laughing. I'm like, what happened? Obviously, I know what happened. I just saw the whole thing go down. She goes, that crazy, is, that, that lady is crazy. Over here like, see girl, see, but what the hell did you have to be doing going over there? Girl, mind your own business. This is what happens when you don't mind your own business. This is why I tell you, you need to stand by situations. Don't get involved. She goes, what? Because like the lady was getting crazy on her. Didn't you see? I'm like, yeah, but Rosa got it. Like she's handling her. Like, mind your business, girl. This is what happens. Oh crap, that was my lip pencil. Just flew out of my hand. So I'm like, this is what happens. This is why I tell you to mind your own business. This is why I tell you not to be getting yourself involved. 
But no, like you have to. You just always have to get involved in everything. Like why? Because this Ellie girl, not Ellie colors, Ellie girl pencil in, I think it's bare. Yeah, bare. It's just perfection. Look, I ran out of breath just trying to grab my pencil, y'all. I'm so out of shape. So embarrassed, not cool. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. Beautiful, it's perfect. I went to like this little shopping spree into CVS and I took my son for like car shopping because like he likes, like CVS carries these like really nice collectible pullback cars. My son goes crazy. They're freaking pricey, dude. They're like $8 a car. But like every time we go, he somehow convinces me to like buy him two of them. And so I have taken them. I don't know why I promised him I will take them there, but I have taken them there. I found a whole bunch of cute stuff, but one of them was like this Alley Girl pencil. Alley Girl in the Alley Color pencil. The hell? Lipstick. And it's so pretty, you guys. It's like, it smells amazing. I love, I love it. I don't know. So not cake, like something sweet. And it's just such a pretty color. I love it. And so I'm telling her, this is what happened. When you don't mind your own business, girl. Like, this is what happened. This is what I always tell you. You see something going on, stand by. It's none of your business, you know, this and that. It's not even the fact that we wouldn't um, step in to help each other out, okay? Rosa is a totally, completely different situation here, okay? Between Deli and me, we always backed each other out. I'm, like, really patient because, if anything, I was the one who was to snap first. But Delia was very, very patient with customers. I would just snap. I'll be like, mm-mm, girl, I ain't handling it. Like, you go, you go get her her food or something. Like, I just didn't have the patience. Delia was very patient, very understanding. I don't know how she did it, but she was, like, a people person. I was not a people person. I was just like, uh-uh. First rub the wrong way? No, ma'am. But... I always kept my cool and I always kept professional. I knew that when a customer went off on us or something, like we would like step in to back each other out because we knew that if it got to the point, it's most likely because the customer is crazy, you know? But Rosa was a totally different case because Rosa had the tendency of pissing people off. Whether it was because she didn't feel like doing something or because she, the customer, I don't know, she didn't like the customer's attitude. I totally get it because like so many situations where I didn't like the customer's attitude, but at the end of the day, it's customer service and you're getting paid. Like somebody comes in a bad mood, you're not gonna give them a hard time and the whole ass attitude just because like they, they're in a bad mood and they're snappy, you know? Some people even have even apologized, like I'm so sorry, like really in a bad mood, I apologize. And that means you're trying to better yourself. Oh my God, I just remember one customer. <sighs> That'll be another story for you guys. But anyways, we back each other out. But when it came down to Rosa, we knew that Rosa tend to piss people off. So like whatever is happening, she most likely caused it. So. That's why I told her, I'm like, you know Rosa, like, she was handling her customer, like, you know how she is, you don't know what she said to her, like, you weren't here, like, I didn't hear anything, did you? I think she mentioned something about the customer complaining about the meat being too thin. Something along those lines where, like, Rosa's like, I can't do anything for you, I can give you another one and it's gonna be the same thing because they're all quarter pounders, like, there's nothing we can do. I, I guess she was, like, arguing, she had gone there before, and, like, her meat was thicker. Some people just argued about the stupidest shit you guys you'd be surprised who are the customers who give the hardest times like i remember this customer like she was like well dressed and like a suit like she it was a she she had like one of those like suits dressy skirt with like the matching coat and everything she looked like she was an executive or some shit like that okay now she called for the for the manager which was my boss because we didn't have a manager we just had my boss and then that's it and then then we had Braulio. Braulio was like the right hand of my boss. Like whatever Braulio said, it was like the boss was telling you. So that's pretty much the closest thing we ever had to a manager. We all listened to him. She was complaining that she had come before and her fries were longer. So she made a whole like controversy about that. And then my boss straight up told her like, I don't have control of how big potatoes can grow. Like, you know, when we order our potatoes, the potatoes come in different sizes and shapes. You pro and yeah, I'll be it. There was sometimes where like I guess potatoes were so long, like they were so big that like the fries were longer. I totally get where she's coming from, but like that's like one of the stupidest things to complain about. Like oh, you're I came here before my fries were longer. Like that's so stupid. Just get another order of fries. Like I don't know. Like it's just so stupid. Like if you want more fries, just order I don't know a larger side of fries or something. Like something logic you know you can give your money back and you can go ahead and head out to that rush like he didn't care you know he wasn't gonna like wasn't gonna complicate his life for four freaking dollars like at all like he was just he's a smart man like some people would just complain about the dumbest things ever and that's why we just told Dalia like you need to stay out of it like you don't know what rosa said to piss the customer off well we just discard them like okay like you're complaining about the like meat being too thin or whatever but like 
just the scar i'm like don't get into an argument with them because clearly like their head is i don't know like clearly like i don't know like they're not all there so it's like don't argue with them you know but rosa i could guarantee you guys that rosa said something to piss the customer off to that degree that she threw a burger at my coworker, which was hilarious but that's what she gets for not minding her own business to this day we keep in touch and we're still friends i'm gonna go in with uh macchiato which is this one this is from my collection focus focus this is what something you gotta focus on this is part of my like luxury collection and these are all kinds of colors and i have hot fudge toffee or whatnot these are like nude brown like more nude browns and they're more on the sheer side the most pigmented one is like the nude one they are pigmented but they're not like full full coverage like they're wearable glosses just for every day um you don't have to be fully glam to wear these these are just perfect for like just to throw on a little color on your lips i'm gonna wear this on the center this is macchiato again and i'm gonna wear this on the center of my lid just to give it like that little ombre effect I'm gonna leave the information down below on my of my website and on my Instagram for my lip gloss page. Yeah, just in the center like that, just to give it like that little <laughs> that little nudie. I have a whole collection. I have a whole page, and it's going great. Business is going great, and it's all thanks to you guys. I also have these. These are cute. These are part of my luxury collection. These have the LVs, which I don't think you could say the brand. I want to offend anyone. And these are these have MKs. I wish you could focus. Okay, these are MKs and these have the CCs. I have like squeezy tubes and fun lip glosses. So stay tuned again, check it out. Follow my lip gloss page Instagram, follow my personal Instagram, subscribe to my channel, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this story time again. Like it was so many like little stories at this in the one same video. I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible actually. Honestly, you guys, I feel like I was trying to make videos a little shorter, but like, I don't know you know to go with the whole i think it's called algorithm or whatever of youtube but it's like i don't know this whole trying to keep up with this algorithm really i feel like loses the essence of the creator of the videos because it's like you're like on this competition and just to like i don't know i just feel like it's gonna happen for us and it's gonna happen for us in its moment so and and meanwhile i honestly appreciate every single one of you guys that are subscribed to my channel we're at 1k point 1k point something and i appreciate all that i feel like you know, at a point we're gonna get there you know we're gonna get we're gonna become huge and it's gonna be all thanks to you guys and then my work but i feel like i just refuse to become part of that like i don't know like that whole like it just rubs me the wrong way but yeah you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this story time a lot more to come of course i'm gonna be creating two other channels one of them's gonna be just dedicated to crime i know you guys like crime stories um this was just gonna be based on like like makeup and beauty and like story times while i do get ready with me and stuff like that but I'm going to create other two channels. One is going to be just um, DIYs as well. Because I know I saw you guys enjoying those. I'm going to be doing my uh, one of my empties. I see you guys enjoy that a lot. That's just pretty much me going through my trash bin. Like my trash bin of just empties of stuff that I use stuff. I saw you guys like those a lot. I don't judge. If you guys like watching me going through my trash, I'm all about it. Cool. So I'll have one of those coming up. But you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time slash uh, get ready with me. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.